Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another sourcing webinar. And this time our guest is Aaron Matthew. Very, very excited to have Erin uh, Aaron, uh, on our sourcing webinar today. I will introduce her for, uh, in a little bit. Um, let me first introduce myself. I am Adrian Kolf. I am the co-founder and CEO of Metcher, your humble host uh, today. Aaron will do uh, will do the talking. I will be moderating the chat. Um, if you guys have any questions, just put them in the chat. Aaron, unfortunately, can't see the chat, but I can. So if there are any urgent questions, I'll just interrupt Aaron and say, hey, Aaron, we got a question from uh, from the audience. Try to uh, try to keep it as interactive as, as, as possible in, in, uh, in that sense. Also, of course, at the end, there's enough uh, room uh, to uh, to ask any any questions that you might have for for, for Aaron. Um, Aaron, super super happy that you're here. Actually, when I asked several people in the sourcing community who should we have on our sourcing webinars, your name was the first one that uh, that came up because you've spoken at Sourcing Summit, SourceCon, HR Tech, at many many events, and people say great speaker amazing content and especially apparently i haven't seen it yet but your reddit uh, presentation has uh, has really got the community talking so i'm super happy and humbled to have you here just a little bit about aaron aaron has been in sourcing for multiple years he's currently leading the sourcing team at maxar and the cool thing about maxar is they are going to put the first woman on the moon in 2023 it's not Aaron, I just asked her, uh, but it, it is going to be uh, someone else and Aaron and her team are making sure that that is actually going uh, going to happen. So super cool for you to be here, uh, here Aaron, uh, and to share your knowledge, uh, knowledge with us uh, today. Thank you so much. And uh, one disclaimer before this presentation, um, if you have attended one of my Reddit presentations before and have access to the Maxar Sourcing Toolbox, please refrain from putting that in the chat. I don't want the audience to be rifling through that and getting distracted. And also, it's really just for your own good if you have not sourced on Reddit before. I don't want anybody, you know, jumping into this without knowing all of the, you know, cautionary tales first. So um, please refrain from that. I will put it in there at the end of the presentation. Cool. Good notes. All right, Aaron. I will go off screen. Good luck. All right, thank you so much. All right, let's, okay, now it's not showing me the window that, okay, there we go. That's the one I want. All right. Can everyone see my screen? We good? Yes, yes we're all good, Aaron. You're good to go. Great. Great. So why should I source on Reddit, ELI5? And that stands for explain like I'm five. You will notice throughout this presentation that I will be using several Reddit acronyms just to get you used to that because you will see a lot of them as you're on Reddit as well. So I'll do just the obligatory about me slide. Um, I am married and I have two dogs, which you may see in the background throughout the presentation. Uh, that is them on Halloween this year. They were not amused that I made them go as a taco and an avocado. Um, but, you know, they looked pretty cute anyways. And uh, as Adrian mentioned, I work for Maxar Technologies. We are a company that deals in earth imagery and space infrastructure. Uh, a couple of months ago, we actually provided the robotic arm to NASA for the Mars rover. And then hopefully in 2023, we will be playing a part in helping to put the first woman on the moon. Uh, we will be providing the lunar gateway to NASA. So at a very base level, what is Reddit? It is a American social news aggregation, web content rating and discussion website that was founded in 2005. Uh, what you're seeing right here is what you would uh, look at if you went to the front page of Reddit right now. And uh, essentially the way that it is set up is that registered users can create their own forums on specific topics called subreddits. So literally you can start a discussion forum on almost anything. And currently there are over 2.2 million subreddits. So that's quite a lot of topics that are floating around. So uh, you might be asking yourself, okay, why should I care? A lot of people don't know this, but they are the sixth most popular website in the US. Um, a, a lot of people I'm surprised still 
aren't really that familiar with Reddit, but its popularity has grown significantly over the last 10 years. Uh, the average time spent per visit on Reddit is 16 minutes. And just to give you some context about how significant that is, the average time spent on any website at all is 45 seconds. And two to three minutes spent on a website is considered optimal. So that just tells you how engaged and uh, involved this audience is on Reddit. They spend a lot of time on it. And then finally, it's home to thousands of potential talent communities. So um, if you source for developers, you're really missing out if you're not on Reddit. Um, there's actually been studies that show that there is a huge audience overlap with GitHub and Reddit. And I believe it because I run into people all the time sharing their products uh, or their, uh, their projects that they create in GitHub and share on Reddit in various communities. Um, if you're looking for Gen Z candidates, um, if you don't have anyone in Gen Z currently working with you, you will very soon. And uh, the oldest members of Gen Z are now 24 years old, so right in that early career stage. And Gen Zers are really drawn to user-driven communities. And 51% of them said that they consider Reddit to be user-driven. And that means at a very baseline, they feel like they are in control on that platform. So what led me to explore sourcing on Reddit as a resource? Um, I had been a longtime Redditor uh, before I ever used it for sourcing. It's always been my favorite way to waste time. <laughs> um, it's very easy to go down the rabbit hole and find out about a lot of things that you never knew. Um, you know, I, I like to laugh at the jokes of strangers. It's, it's, it's a fun time. <laughs> But the inspiration came when I realized that there really was a community for everything, the weirdest, the zaniest, and the most confusing and oddly specific topics. Uh, for example, um, there's a community called Not Fooling Anybody. This is a place to post photos of buildings that have been converted to other uses, yet still strongly resemble their former use. Uh, like this King Giros re uh, restaurant, it was very obviously a Long John Silver's at one point. Um, delusional Craigslist. This one's really funny. Um, where 10 year old computers are still $500. The, the things that people think that they can sell and for how much they can sell it is, is really quite comical. Um, and then, you know, just, you know, general interest stuff like tacos. I follow the tacos subreddit because I love tacos. I like making them. I like eating them. Good enough. <laughs> um, so after seeing all of these weird you know, very specific subreddits. I'm like, you know what? There's got to be one about JavaScript. There's got to be one about Python. There's got to be one about nursing or any other skill possible. And it turned out that, yes, there was a whole world of unexplored talent that was right under my nose. Um, so I found subreddits of all kinds of professionals, software developers, HVAC technicians, nurses, finance, earth science, really anything that you could think of. So you might be thinking right now, how am I going to find all these subreddits? I can't be scrolling through here for hours and hours at a time. Well, lucky for you, I already did a bunch of the hard work. Um, for the past several years, I have created and been maintaining a Reddit sourcing toolbox, which includes a directory of several hundred subreddits across different job families. So I'm hoping that that is enough to help you get your uh, your uh, sourcing on Reddit started. Um, this is going to lead you to a lot of other related subreddits as well, um, and it'll get you in the right direction. Oh, I'm supposed to go back. Hold on. Uh, but yes, the Reddit sourcing toolbox to to the to the rescue. Um, but there's a lot you got to know before you proceed. Um, I would even argue that you probably should not start sourcing today after this webinar what you should do is spend a good month just being a Redditor. So you have to understand the culture of Redditors before you can be successful. First and foremost, not every subreddit is friendly to recruiters. I would argue that most of them are not. Uh, but with the right amount of investigation, you can find the ones that are. 
Uh, they value authenticity and absolutely despise spam. So if you think that you're going to be going on Reddit to post a million jobs a minute, it's not going to happen. You will get dragged through the mud. The, the users can be, for lack of a better word, vicious. <laughs> so you want to make sure that you take more of a surgical approach to this to avoid anything like that happening to you. And then many choose to be present on the platform due to perceived anim anonymity. Um, you know, it's not like an Instagram or a Facebook where, you know, people are posting selfies all the time and oversharing their life. It's a much different culture that's geared toward discussion and it's all text-based for the most part. So um, it's, it's a very unique culture in that respect. However, I've learned through my own research that you're really only as anonymous as what you don't disclose. And we'll talk about that a little bit further. So first rule, be a Redditor first and a recruiter second. Anytime that you go to post on Reddit, especially when it comes to recruiting, the first thing they're going to do is look at your profile. They're going to look at what your cake day is. And your cake day is the day that you joined Reddit. Um, this is actually my profile. Um, I've pretty much relinquished all of my privacy on Reddit to be able to share these tips with you guys over the years, and that's fine. <laughs> um, but I, uh, I've gained a lot of karma over the years from different posts, uh, some recruiting related, some not. And I've been a Redditor for over nine years now. So essentially, make sure that your account wasn't made yesterday if you're going to be posting. <laughs> Uh, participate in communities that you find entertaining. Don't just start with recruiting. Um, I am part of the Aldi subreddit. So one time I was in the store, I saw this dessert hummus, which I thought was very odd. Um, so I posted on there. I'm like, is, is it good? What would I eat with it? And I got a lot of good responses from it. People had a lot of great tips of how I could use brownie batter hummus. And they're like, oh yeah, dip strawberries in it. It's great. Put it on toast. Do this, do that. Uh I also like to post the donuts that I make. That's a that's a hobby of mine as I make all kinds of different flavors of donuts. So I like to post that in the baking subreddit. Um, and you know, I love a good dad joke. So of course I contribute to that community as well. This is one that I submitted. Did you hear about the new soup that's highly in demand? It's always out of stock. Ha ha ha, funny. Rule number two, and this is probably the most important rule I could give you respect the individual guidelines of each subreddit. When you go to any community, uh, chances are they're going to have a set of rules in the right-hand corner of their page. Some subreddits don't even bother to write any rules, but most of them will. For example, this is from the Kubernetes subreddit. They've got a fantastic community of DevOps and, and system engineers. However, they explicitly say in their rules, do not post job openings. So as disappointing as it is, you don't want to do that. You'll get banned from the subreddit. Uh, you'll get a bad reputation online. So just don't do it. If it's in the rules, respect that. Uh, but don't worry, because there are more than enough communities that allow certain spaces for recruiting related posts. Uh, so I'm going to go through each of these four communities um, and kind of go through the nuances of how they allow job posting so that you can kind of see the difference between communities that you can that you that might occur. DevOps jobs, they have one rule. Job postings have to contain compensation. Easy enough. Uh, this is a great subreddit. We actually get a consistent flow of DevOps resumes from this and uh I think Sam is on the call. She's on my team. She's been getting uh, a nice little flow of traffic for that since she's our dedicated DevOps person on the Maxar team. And then uh, Redditors for Hire. Uh, the For Hire subreddit is great. You can post anything and everything uh, when it comes to jobs. You know, the, that's in the entire purpose of the subreddit. However, they have a long list of rules for exactly what the post can and cannot contain. They actually have an auto moderator bot on this that will immediately remove your post if it does not meet the standards. So make sure to read things like this very carefully as you're crafting your post. React.js, this is a subreddit for the front end uh, development technology React. 
Um, this is a really great community. I've seen it rise from 20,000 members to over 200,000 in the last two years. Uh, so very captive audience. And they have a monthly who's hiring thread. And as you can see here, they have a specific format that they want you to post it in. So um, easy enough, just fill in the information and then uh, watch your inbox fill up with uh, resumes. I, I've gotten quite a few candidates from uh, the React.js subreddit. We just hired someone last month to one of our front end teams. Uh, so great community. They also have a who's available thread every month as well. So that's a great place to pick through some resumes that are up, out in the open. Uh, oh, and that just went along with what else I said. <laughs> uh, Denver Jobs. We use this subreddit quite a lot because our headquarters are based in Westminster, Colorado. And uh, what was really funny about the first time that I ever posted on here was I immediately got a Slack message from one of our software engineering managers. He goes, oh, hey, just saw your post come through. I'm actually an admin on that subreddit. Uh, so it just goes to show you that, you know, someone right next door to you might be a Redditor. It's a, it's a lot more popular than you might think. Rule number three, study up on the lingo. You're going to see a lot of abbreviations uh, like OP is original poster, TLDR is too long, didn't read explain like I'm five, ask me anything, fix that for you. There is a glossary of Reddit terms that will be in the toolbox as well. Uh, so make sure that you utilize that if you don't know what an acronym is. Rule number four, be engaged and prepared to answer tough questions. Like I said before, Redditors are oftentimes a tough crowd. This was a post that I put up in the aerospace engineering subreddit to advertise for a virtual hiring event that we had last month. Um, obviously, I included the salary range uh, because Redditors really do uh, value transparency and authenticity. Um, I always get much more interaction on posts that include the salary range. Um, so I got a tough question. I said, are you still paying mid-career engineers in the Bay Area less than 80K? And if they had just read the post, they would know that that is not even close to true. Um, so I kept it short. I kept it brief. I said, no, see above for the salary range. And I didn't hear anything else from that person. Um, I did get some good responses from that post. Uh, I had people asking about internships, which we do have an intern program. So that was an opportunity for me to direct them to that landing page that we have. I uh, also got uh, it, a uh, response from someone interested in mechanical opportunities at the mid-level. Uh, so, you know, made myself available, let them know that they could email their resume to me. They did later in the day. Uh, so a lot of great interaction happened on that post. And you just want to make sure that you're timely with things like that. I always have it set where um, I get email notifications if anybody responds to anything that I post. So we've had a couple of recent Reddit successes from a couple of different things that we've tried. I mentioned we had that virtual hiring event and we did a lot of promotions on Reddit just with posts in relevant communities. Um, so as you'll see, with the registrations that we got for the event, 32% came directly from Reddit. Uh, the other 30% came from direct invites from my sourcing team. And then only 8% came from SEM, LinkedIn, and our careers page combined. And that SEM was paid Google SEM. And it didn't yield nearly as much as Reddit did. And everything we did on Reddit was free for this event. So we have also started running paid ads. Um, this one, I really crafted the copy for it to speak to Reddit. I don't know if any of you are familiar with the entire Wall Street bets fiasco that happened on Reddit very recently. A um, bunch of people got together on that community. They decided they wanted to mess with the stock market and make GameStop stock go to insane prices, even though it's inherently worthless. Um, they always use the phrase, it's going to the moon. So I said, hey, we're going to the moon. This is the perfect opportunity. So I said, is your GME stock going to the moon? Maxar is, explore opportunities to be a DevOps engineer. Uh, we also 
Oh, no, not supposed to go back there. <laughs> uh, another one that we started running is uh, Maxar, a leading technology uh, and intelligence company. It's hiring multiple DevOps engineers to turn visions into missions. TLDR, you should apply. There is our little nod to the Reddit community, which is too long, didn't read. <laughs> so just a few tips. Um, and then just another brand that did the same, uh, Maker's Mark. Uh, they actually got a lot of praise for this ad, which was Let It Snoo. They were advertising their whiskey during the uh, uh, th during the winter. Snoo is actually the little alien uh, mascot that is part of Reddit. So uh, very cool little nod to the community there. So keep that in mind if you are able to convince your recruitment marketing department to run a few ads. So a couple of useful tips and tricks. Let's say that I I don't want to, you know, pick through a lot of the just random subreddits just in hopes of finding someone. You can set up a simple search within Reddit that specifically indexes individual users. So if we were to go to my profile page, the URL would look like this. Um, it's got reddit.com slash user slash the username. What we're going to want to do here is remove the unique identifier, which is my username. We'll take that and replace it with an asterisk. It's my favorite Boolean operator. Yes, I'm a nerd. I have a favorite Boolean operator. This is the wildcard operator. So once we have this URL, we're going to plug it into a site search that we can plug into Google. And then I'm going to add on the back end of it, I am a software engineer. So when I plug this into Google, I get 2,800 results. And what I'm using is called a natural language query, which means that we're searching the way that people speak. So on Reddit, natural language is going to be your best friend. Um, you can search for anything like, check out my GitHub. Here is my portfolio. I am a nurse in blank. Maybe you're looking for a nurse in a specific location. A lot of times when you're working with discussion forums, people are going to disclose a lot about themselves just through natural phrases. Uh, Reddit Flare. This is something that you can really use to your advantage. So what is Flare on Reddit? It's essentially a tag that can be added to certain threads or posts and it can help the users understand the category to which the posts belong to on a certain subreddit. For example, if we have anyone in the cleared space online today, uh, there is a security clearance community where people talk about questions on how to get their clearance. Uh, there's a lot of discussion of, you know, I've got this in my background. Are they going to deny me a security clearance? They utilize Flare to categorize the different types of posts that they have. Uh, you're going to find the flare in the right-hand side under the Communities About section. So the categories that they have are Clearance Granted, FYI, Question, Discussion, or Posting a Resource. So if you click on the flare that says Clearance Granted, the page will look something like this, and it has separated out all of the posts where someone is announcing that they just got their clearance. So at this point, it's like shooting fish in a barrel and everyone's saying like, hey, I just got a TSSCI. And you can dig a little bit further into their profile and see if maybe there's a certain job that they do. I have in the past found cleared software engineers through this method. Uh, Game Dev Classifieds. This is another great community that uses Flair. Um, you know, they've you can separate them out by who's for hire, uh, who is, you know, uh, doing animation, who's doing voice acting, any of this. Uh, CS career questions. This is where people ask for questions about computer science if they've uh, if they're looking to change careers. Um, they have the option to flare their post by saying, "I'm a new grad. I'm experienced. I'm a student." So you might ask yourself, "Okay, I found someone that's really promising. How do I find them in real life?" There is no guarantee that you can always find them in real life, but there are things that you can do uh, to actually have a shot at it. And what I always tell people is that you got to treat it like a hackathon question. 
Uh, growing up, I always hated algebra. I hated it so much, <laughs> but then come to realize as a sorcerer, I essentially use it every day. It's using the known to find the unknown. So this was an example of uh, how I, I saw someone comment on a post giving some career advice. Uh, this guy did digital marketing. And at the time I was looking for a search engine marketing person at my previous job. Um, what I learned from this post and then also looking into his profile were that um, he worked in digital marketing, possibly had the first name Elliot because it's right in his username. His employer was or is Microsoft and his location was confirmed as Chicago. And it's actually kind of a funny story how I found that out. Um, way down in his Reddit history, there was a story that he shared during college where he got sick on the L after too many drinks that night. So that definitely told me that he was in Chicago because that's one of our transportation systems here. <laughs> and finally, that he attended a small liberal arts college in Iowa. Didn't say which one, but I, I figured that was important information to keep in mind. So I built the most basic Boolean string for this. I said, that, let's see if this guy's on LinkedIn. I did site LinkedIn.com, Elliot, SEM, Chicago, and Microsoft. Uh, so I click into the first result. And sure enough, he attended Loris College, which is a small liberal arts college in Iowa. And there you have it. It's not impossible to find someone on Reddit in real life. Um, which, you know, it's also a good lesson that it's not as anonymous as you think. So outside of recruiting, Reddit can really be a fantastic learning resource for you as well. Uh, this is from the Learn JavaScript community. Let's say that maybe you're new to tech recruiting and you want to learn about the actual languages that you're going to be searching for in candidates' backgrounds. Um, this is kind of like a safer place to be able to ask those questions to a community and do some learning for yourself so that you can have more coherent and, and meaningful conversations with developers. Um, programmer humor. This is one of my favorite subreddits. And let me tell you, because I understand the concept of so many memes, I've been able to figure out what exactly they're laughing about in these programmer humor memes. And I've learned so much about programming concepts just from that. Um, MCAT resources. Okay, this is one of the most supportive and well-run subreddits that I've ever seen. It is a uh, community for students that are preparing for the MCAT, which is the medical school admissions test. Um, they offer resource, resources to help them study for it. And if you're a physician recruiter, you really should pay attention here. They keep a running spreadsheet of user exam scores from this community dating all the way back to 2015. So some of those people have likely finished med school by now and are in residency. So go over there and, you know, happy hunting. Obviously follow the rules of the subreddit, but, you know, it's great information to have. Uh, Kubernetes, even though they, they are not uh, friendly to recruiters posting, it's still a great resource for what they provide to actually understanding what Kubernetes is. Ask Engineers, uh, another great community. Um, they actually have a list of engineers that are willing to be interviewed. And the purpose of it is to have new grads interview engineers, uh, you know, about their careers and where their trajectory might go. But having a list of engineers like that may be good for you to be able to reach out to someone that's willing to give back. Um, they would also make excellent mentors in a workplace as far as I'm concerned as well. So interesting stuff there. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is actually from the dietitian subreddit. Um, this actually has a database of all accredited registered dietitian programs and internships. So right there, you might get some great research on where to source from. All right, so let's explore the Reddit sourcing toolbox. So I'm going to stop this share and start another one. All right. So 
as you go to the Reddit sourcing toolbox, you will see that I have them separated by subject. We have healthcare, IT. There's a lot of them. I'm still adding to it. General engineering, finance and cryptocurrency. If you're in the finance world and you know, you're not well versed in cryptocurrency, it's probably a good time to start. It's coming, whether we like it or not. Uh, HR, digital marketing, trades. This is where you'll find uh, HVAC, welding, uh, plumbing, oil and gas, uh, test prep, aerospace. So a lot of communities to pick through. Um, I've also started compiling uh, diversity and inclusion subreddits as well. Um, it, that's kind of a work in progress right now. I'm still compiling that tab. Uh, general job searching subreddits. Um, the resumes one is fantastic. It's really just a subreddit where people are posting up their resumes and asking for help. This is a great way for you to build up your profile as a Redditor and give back. Um, so definitely recommend spending some time on there. Subreddits by location. Um, this is where you'll find the subreddits that are friendly to uh, posting jobs in certain geographical areas. And then we've got a couple of other tools that you can use. There's a Reddit custom search engine in there that was created by Greg Hawks. Shout out to him. Thank you so much. And then I've got some just for fun subreddits. Uh, this is going to be purely for the purpose of you getting acquainted with the culture of Reddit. Um, it's entertaining. I promise you'll have fun. And then meme resources. If you, if you don't know how to create a meme, but think it's relevant for something you want to post, this is where you go. So I'll go back to my slide deck. And uh, that is the end. So feel free to connect with me. Uh, that is my email. Connect with me on LinkedIn. My vanity URL is Aaron Matthew Sorcer. Uh, you can connect with me on Twitter. I'm not on there very often, but you can. And uh, that is the end. I'll turn it back over to Adrian. Yes, Aaron, let me turn my video on. Oh, and I'll, I'll get the Reddit sourcing toolbox into the chat for you. Yeah. Awesome. Wow. Aaron, so much content. Super, super interesting uh, in, in that sense. And what, what, one of the questions that came up from, from the audience, is Reddit mainly US focused? Like, can people in Europe also use this? Or is it mainly, you know, if you want to look for people in the US? Sorry, if you want to yeah. get so, into the, um, in the US and then maybe potentially, you know, use it to source, uh, source candidates. Yeah, so um, it's growing in Europe, big time. Uh, Europe and Australia and India, it's growing wildly, but it is uh, still primarily used by people in the US. But like I said, it's it's getting there. Okay, okay. So this could actually be the time to kind of like jump on that wagon mm -hmm. in Europe as well. Absolutely. It's already built, uh, built, built, built a profile. Aaron, exactly. I, I, I assume, but, but that's maybe, maybe my amazement, but I assume that the majority of the people watching this have no experience yet with Reddit. What would you advise people to do? I've seen the rules in that sense, but like, what would you advise people to do if they want to get into it? As if they want to get step? into it, yeah, so spend a month just being a Redditor before you do anything. Okay. Then rewatch this webinar, yeah, and uh, and and then go see what what happens. Or you know, like I said, I've relinquished my privacy as a Redditor, you know, for for the benefit of the sourcing community. Yeah. Feel free to go and see the way that I'm posting in certain communities. Yeah, yeah, okay. And if you look at your current sourcing strategy and in, in that's in terms of platforms and whatever you use, like from a day-to-day -day operations, how much do you actually use Reddit versus LinkedIn or other platforms in, in, in that sense? Can you like give us a little bit of, of, of flavor there? Yeah, so I would say that Reddit is more of our uh, passive flow of uh, of sourcing. Obviously, we've got our favorite communities that we consistently post in there as often as is allowed. Yeah. Um, so pretty much every week we're we're updating what kind of jobs we're we're looking for people from, and then you know we just kind of uh, wait and see if anybody engages that way. And um, it's definitely our not our main way, but a major way that we promote our online events now. 
Um, you know, they're, they're very engaged communities and they show up for our events. So um, we've made hires from, from Reddit and uh, you know, I, I used to spend more time on Reddit, you know, actively searching for individual people. I don't do as much of that now um, because it is very time consuming. Yeah. Um, but, you know, now I do a lot more strategic posting in certain communities. Yeah. Yeah. OK, that makes it that makes it makes it. I was I was surprised. Thirty percent of, of people coming through Reddit. That's that's incredible. It's, that's yeah, it, it, it stumped our, our marketing team for sure. And they're like, oh, well, maybe we should be running paid ad, ads there instead of Google SEM. So yeah. that's what we're doing now. And, uh, you know, it at first we tried running ads, you know, with our, our pretty standard branding for our company. And I, I told them it's not going to work on Reddit. You have to make sure that you're connecting with the community on a level that, you know, resonates with them. Yeah. And the minute that I, I said, okay, we're going to add some Reddit lingo to this, the engagement rates jumped 30%. Wow. Wow. That's big. That's big. Hey, yep. and, and one question. It's another question from, from, from the audience. Are there any tools to find email or contact details from Redditors? From, from there are zero. There are okay. zero. So um, the best advice that I would have is uh, doing a similar targeted search like I showed and using like an at Gmail as part of the search. So that way it'll index profiles where people self-disclosed like, oh, this is my Gmail. And a lot of people do, especially with the, uh, you know, hiring threads for uh, like in React G JS, uh, a lot of those front-end developers will disclose their email so you can reach out to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, that makes, that makes sense. Do you ever approach people directly on the platform itself say, hey, come work with us, or do you usually do that through, through different channels? Very rarely, um, but when I do, I make sure that they get something from it. Um, if I see something neat that they posted, I will give them Reddit gold, which is like, they, they get like a virtual trophy for it. And I'll be like, hey, you know, loved what you had to say here. Enjoy your Reddit gold. If you want to talk, you're welcome to. If not, don't feel obligated. So okay. I have a premium account, so I can yeah. give people gold. And that's like $4 a month. And then you can give people gold. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they've got a whole bunch of different awards now. Like you can give them the wholesome award, the platinum award. It's, it, it's really funny, actually. Cool. How much time do you spend on Reddit on, on average? Uh, for work or uh, for personal reasons? Because those are two very different questions. Let's let's do both. I'm oh, very please. curious. You're yeah. going to get me in trouble here. Um, <laughs> uh, probably at least like four hours weekly for, for work. And that includes, you know, uh, scoping out places to post, doing my own research on any kind of roles, uh, because I really have learned so much about engineering on Reddit. And oftentimes if you find the right community, they're very helpful to you. Um, mm. So like I said, it's a great learning resource. It's a great recruiting yeah. resource. Um, it's a great uh, vehicle for visibility for you. And then um, if I had to quantify how much personal time I spend on Reddit, I don't know that there's enough hours in the days for that. I've got the app on my phone and I'm always like, oh, what's happening on Reddit now? Like, Yeah, 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 funny. I noticed that you posted almost everything about food. Are you an extreme foodie, Aaron? Or there you not? go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Even your dog had to had to be dressed up as tires and work on it. <laughs> oh, yeah. They were not happy about that. <laughs> oh, awesome. Um, I think that's it. That's it from, from the questions of of Giannis. Aaron. Awesome. Like you definitely lived up to your expectations. So much great content there. If you can post the link in the chat and also send it afterwards to me because we'll share. If you're okay with that, are you okay with yes. sharing the slides as well? Yeah, the actually, website? here's the link to the slide deck. I ha deck. I have this hosted on an actual web page, so you can scroll yeah. through that right in your browser. Um, and then once again, here is the toolbox as well. Once again. Amazing, amazing. And what we'll do, we'll share the recording and the slides and also the link to the toolbox to our audience um, that joined or is going to rewatch uh, watch this later in, the, in in that sense. Aaron, thank you so much. Really, really appreciate it. Um, thank you for having me. <laughs> for, for the rest of our audience, really hope to see you guys again, uh, again next week. All right, bye-bye.